Hi everybody, this is Vijay Vardarajan. Today I'm going to be doing a very special Tirnalveli dish, a dessert with rice and a little bit of moong dal. One cup of rice to quarter cup of moong dal. I cook it completely into a mushy paste before I add all the other things that go into making it a dessert. So let's start off and you can see how it's made. Of course, if you, don't, if you wanna get the exact details of the recipe, it's always there in the link below. I never miss to give you all that. And you can look into it and I'll make it as easy as possible because this is a fantastic dessert. Let's start. So we're first gonna add some water to remove the scum. We'll dissolve the jaggery. Once it is, uh, the water is hot and the jaggery melts, we will strain it to remove the scum and then we'll use it later. So, this is the jaggery. I try to add the dark color jaggery also which is more a palm jaggery than the other jaggery. The palm sugar is much darker and it is uh, less sweet and uh, healthier too. So I won't be adding too much of this because uh, this particular dish is cooked in milk. You first cook it with a little bit of water and then a whole lot of milk is thickened and then we add the rice to it and then it becomes a mushy paste. Then we add the jaggery syrup and then of course the saffron that goes into it, the cashew pieces that go into it and the little bit of cardamom powder. So the whole dish is fabulous tasting. It is uh, a little different from the chakra pongal that we make on pongal days, which is a special festival day. And that is done completely in jaggery, but jaggery in water, but this is done in milk. So that's the difference between a chakra pongal and this. And in this we add some saffron too. So I will wait till this jaggery, I've actually broken it down to pieces, but there are still some small pieces which I want it to completely melt before I strain it. This is melted, so I'm going to strain this. I've switched off the induction stove. I'm going to strain this and then we'll go on to the next step. I'll take another pan to boil the milk. I won't use the same pan. We'll wash this and then use it later. So I've taken a fresh pan and uh, I'm going to add some milk to this with all the cream. This is already boiled full cream milk. So I'm going to heat it up again. And uh, I have cooked the rice and the moong dal to a very mushy consistency in the rice cooker. We'll take that out and add it later. We will allow the jaggery to get cool, okay? And then we'll add that to this. Let me add just the cream from this. Let me thicken this a little bit. So once it's thick, then we'll add the rice. So this is thickened a little bit. So you can see it. Okay. And at this stage, let me add some saffron that I've added in milk. And let me also add some plain saffron. Here, this will add that extra color and flavor to it. So I will take the rice out from here. So here it goes. And I will add this to this. Now, if I feel it's a little grainy, I can always use a masher, hand masher and mash it up and make it really mushy because it needs to be mushy. Only then you get the softness for this dessert. So here it is. And let me add some cashew.
I am going to add the jaggery syrup a little later till this whole thing gets together and uh, I am going to wait for it to thicken a little more before I show you how thick it is needed. So you see this is combined well and uh, what I can do is I like it to be a little more mushy so you can even go through doing this okay. This can also be done if you feel it is not mushy enough, not soft enough. So this will bind it well. I at this stage I will add condensed milk because that gives a nice flavor too. So because I am adding condensed milk I will not add so much of jaggery. I will have a mixture of both because I want the sweetness to be just right not too much. Okay? So you can add it is your option because it gives a nice creamy texture. So I have added a little condensed milk too and uh, it seems okay. At this stage I will add a little cardamom powder not too much because I do not want it to take over the flavor of the saffron because even this is pretty strong in its fragrance. So just a little I will add that is it. Maybe this whole thing would be just quarter teaspoon. I will add the rest of the cashew. I want to taste this a little bit. It is to close it because it keeps jumping. Mm. So I can add all the jaggery that I melted here. So the jaggery goes into this. I will allow it to come together a little more slightly thicker and then we are done. At this stage I will also add a little saffron. Saffron gives such an intense flavor. I always like to add that because it gives the color and the flavor to any dessert. In fact saffron and cardamom is added only to sweet dishes in the south by the way because these are added to pulaos and other recipes in the north but not so in the south in our cuisine. We add cardamom and saffron only for desserts not for spicy dishes. This is something that you have to know that we are so different in everything in the south. So this is thickened. It is slightly golden in color because we have added a, a little bit of condensed milk and jaggery to give this color. So the white of the milk has actually turned a little golden in color. So this is a karavarasal for you. You can also fry some raisins in, uh, in ghee and add to this. It gives a special flavor which is an option that you can add to make it sweeter. But if you want less sweet then you do not have to add the raisins. But uh, this is the way a karavarasal is made. The thinner way people make it and we also make it for special occasions when we call people friends home for lunch or dinner or something the main dessert will be a karavarasal and in marriages it is very popular either for a morning snack that we have or for an evening dinner they make a karavarasal and people enjoy this. They just put it in cups and then scoop it up with spoons and uh, this is a very very delicious dessert and do try it at home because uh, this is a very special South Indian dish. You might not have heard much about it but I want to show off, showcase our recipes to the world to tell everybody what wonderful recipes we still have hidden in our closet. I want to bring it out and talk about it to a global audience. This is Viji Vardarajan signing off and uh, do like and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again the next time with a new recipe, I am signing off. Bye.